Have you ever wondered how a calculator, a device we often take for granted, is made? This seemingly simple tool with its buttons and digital display is a marvel of modern technology. Calculators, unassuming as they are, play a pivotal role in our daily lives, helping us navigate numbers with ease. From the humble grocery store to the grand halls of academia, these devices make complex calculations a cinch. In this video, we will take a deep dive into the fascinating process of creating a calculator. Like any other tech device, the birth of a calculator starts in the design phase. A calculator, despite its seemingly simple functionality, is a culmination of thoughtful design and intricate planning. This is where the magic starts to happen, the design phase. This critical phase is where all the functions, features and the layout of the calculator are planned. It's not just about packing in as many features as possible, but rather about creating a harmonious blend of functionality and usability. The design team meticulously plans every button, every function, and every aspect of the calculator's user interface. It's a delicate balancing act between incorporating the necessary mathematical functions and maintaining a user-friendly design. Now, you might be wondering how do they do it? The answer lies in the power of computer-aided design, or CAD for short. This software allows designers to create, modify and optimize the design of the calculator. With CAD, designers can visualize the final product even before its physical existence. They can test different designs, analyze them and refine them until they reach the optimal design. But it's not just about the external design. The internal layout of the components, including the circuitry and the microchip, are also designed using CAD. The placement of these components is crucial to the calculator's functionality and performance. Now, here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that the first pocket calculators were so large due to the size of their components that they barely fit in a pocket? Thanks to the advances in technology and the power of design, today's calculators are sleek, compact and packed with features. The design phase is a testament to human ingenuity and creativity. It's a process of continuous refinement and optimization, where every detail, no matter how small, is given careful consideration. Once the design is finalized, it's time for the real action to start. The blueprints have been drawn, the stage has been set, and now it's time to bring the design to life. But that is a story for another scene. Stay tuned. At the heart of every calculator is a silicon chip, a microprocessor. This micro marvel is the core, the brain, if you will, of our humble calculator. But how does this piece of silicon become a thinking calculating machine? The journey begins with the creation of silicon wafers. Silicon, a common element found in sand, is purified and melted into a single uniform crystal. This crystal is then sliced into thin wafers. These wafers are polished to a mirror-like finish ready for the next stage, the etching of circuits. Etching is a process where a design of an electronic circuit is projected onto the wafer. This design is then embedded into the silicon wafer through a process called photolithography. The wafer is coated with a light-sensitive material exposed to ultraviolet light and then bathed in a chemical solution that etches away the exposed areas, leaving behind a network of tiny electronic circuits. Now, for a fun fact, the process of etching has been refined over decades, enabling the creation of circuits so small that thousands could fit on the head of a pin. This miniaturization is what allows our calculators to be so small and portable, yet so powerful. The final step in the creation of the microchip is packaging. The silicon wafer, now etched with its intricate circuits, is diced into individual chips. Each chip is mounted onto a metal or ceramic package, which protects the chip and allows it to connect with the rest of the calculator's components. The creation of the microchip is a testament to human ingenuity, a symphony of science and technology. Each stage, from the purification of silicon to the etching of circuits to the packaging of the chip, is a marvel in its own right. With the microchip ready, it's time to bring our calculator to life. The assembly of a calculator is a precise and careful process. It's a dance of tech components where each piece has a designated role and position. Let's delve into this fascinating process. First, the heart of the calculator, the microchip, gets carefully embedded into the circuit board. This tiny chip is the brain of the calculator. 
responsible for interpreting and performing all the mathematical operations that you input. Next, the display comes into play. This is where all your calculations will be shown. It's attached to the circuit board, connecting it to the microchip. The display is typically a liquid crystal display or LED, chosen for their low power consumption and clear visibility. Now let's talk about the buttons, the interface through which you interact with your calculator. These are painstakingly placed on the front casing, each corresponding to a specific function. Whether it's for simple arithmetic or complex scientific functions, each button has a specific place and purpose. The buttons are connected to the circuit board via a flexible conductive rubber sheet. When you press a button, it makes contact with the circuit board, sending a signal to the microchip to perform the corresponding operation. The casing comes last. This houses all the components, protecting them from damage and providing a comfortable grip for the user. The casing is typically made from lightweight, durable plastic designed to withstand daily wear and tear. But here's a fun fact. Calculators weren't always this compact. The first electronic calculator introduced in the mid-20th century was the size of a desk and weighed over 30 kilograms. Imagine carrying that around in your backpack. Finally, all the components are meticulously checked and then the calculator is sealed. It's a testament to precision and ingenuity, a marvel of miniaturization. Once assembled, we're not quite finished yet. The calculator now moves on to the final stages of production where it will be rigorously tested and perfected. So stay tuned to discover how we ensure that each calculator is ready to crunch those numbers. No calculator leaves the factory without passing rigorous testing. Let's delve into the fascinating world of the testing phase, where each calculator is meticulously inspected for any defects and assessed for functionality. This phase is as crucial as the creation of the calculator itself. It's where we ensure that each piece of equipment is ready to deliver precision and accuracy just as you'd expect. Every single button on the calculator, from the basic numbers to the more complex functions, is pressed and tested. The team checks if the numbers and symbols appear correctly on the screen, ensuring that the microchip is accurately interpreting each button press. They also check that the calculator performs calculations correctly and within an acceptable time frame. It's a process that requires a keen eye for detail and an understanding of what makes a calculator truly reliable. But it's not just the functionality that is tested. The calculator's durability and resilience are put to the test too. After all, we all know that calculators can be subjected to quite a bit of wear and tear, especially in a classroom setting. The calculators are subjected to drop tests, heat resistance tests, and even liquid resistance tests. The goal is to ensure that each calculator can withstand the rigors of daily life and continue to function optimally. Now, here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that on average, only one in every thousand calculators fails these rigorous tests? That's right, the failure rate is incredibly low, which is a testament to the meticulous design and assembly processes that precede the testing phase. It's also a testament to the dedication of the testing team, who work diligently to ensure that each calculator is as close to perfection as possible. Once the testing phase is complete, each calculator is carefully packaged, ready to be shipped off to stores around the world. But the journey doesn't end there. Indeed, the real journey begins when the calculator ends up in the hands of a user, ready to assist with everything from simple arithmetic to complex equations. Once a calculator passes testing, it's ready to help us solve our everyday math problems. So the next time you pick up a calculator, Remember the journey it's been through to reach perfection. So, that's the journey of a calculator. From a design on a screen to a device in our hands, it all begins with a vision, a design sketched out meticulously to create a device that is both functional and user-friendly. This design then comes to life through the creation of a microchip, the brain of the calculator. This tiny component is a marvel of modern technology, containing millions of transistors that perform calculations at lightning speeds. Once the microchip is ready, it's time to put it all together. The calculator's body is assembled and the microchip is carefully installed, 
Every button, every wire, every piece of the calculator is painstakingly placed to ensure it functions flawlessly. But the journey doesn't end there. Each calculator undergoes rigorous testing to ensure its accuracy and reliability. It's examined, prodded and pushed to its limits to make sure it can withstand the rigors of daily use. And finally, after passing every test, the calculator embarks on its journey to you. It travels across cities, countries and continents to find its place in your hands, ready to help you solve complex equations or calculate your monthly budget. The journey of a calculator is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of precision. It's a journey that combines art, science and technology to create a device that, while small, plays a significant role in our lives. The next time you use a calculator, remember the journey it has taken to get to you.